Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be learning about two important functions related to file offsets and these are the seek and the tell function. So before that, let us know why do we need the seek and tell functions. So till now, whenever we have studied about reading and writing to a text file in Python, we have always written to the text file from the default offset and also read from the text file using the default offset. So in the case of reading a file, the default offset is the beginning of the file and in the case of writing, it is again the beginning of the file but in case of appending, it is the end of the file. Now what if you want to randomly read or write to a file and what do I mean by randomly? You want to change the position from which the reading occurs or the position at which the writing occurs. So there are functions to do so and to access data in a random fashion irrespective or uh, apart from the sequential access. So till now we were doing sequential reading and writing and appending to the file but now we have uh, to study about two functions seek and tell which will allow us to know where the uh, current position of the cursor is where the current file offset is and they will also let us to change the value of the current file offsets so let us first uh, look into the seek function so the seek function will change the current file handle to a particular position in the file that you have specified as an argument to the seek function okay so you can refer it to as a cursor placed in the file or the position of the file handle anything i will be using both these terms interchangeably okay so now uh, uh, when you are using the seek function there is one compulsory argument one necessary argument and a, a second optional argument so the first compulsory argument is the value of the offset so this offset value basically allows you to specify how many number of bytes you want to move the current file handle how many bytes you want to shift the current file cursor and the second optional argument is the reference point so the reference point allows you to tell the python interpreter that you want to move the offset with respect to what position do you want to move 5 bytes ahead with respect to the starting of the file or from the current position of the file or from the end position of the file. So this is uh, how the seek function works and this is the syntax for the seek function. First you specify the file handle, uh, the, uh, as the file handle associated with the file on which you want to apply the seek function. Then you call the seek function you specify the offset and if you want to specify you can also specify the reference point okay now the reference point has a default value of 0 so the uh, valid values for the reference point are 0 1 and 2 but 0 is the default value that means if you do not specify any value for the reference point you do not specify the second argument by default the offset will be changed the cursor will be shifted with respect to the beginning of the file now if you specify a value 1 for the reference point that means the change in the offset the change in the file handle will occur with respect to the current position in the file so uh, say you have read 10 bytes from the file using the read method and now you want to move the uh, offset uh, five positions ahead so that in if you want to uh, change the offset position with respect to the current file location then you can specify the value one for the reference point now there is also a third valid value for the reference point which is the end of the file and that is specified using the value two so if you uh, specify 2 as the reference point, the change in the offset will happen with respect to the end of the file. Okay. Now uh, let's take an example for the seek function. So uh, my file is a file object which is connected to say myfile.txt and now I am changing the uh, offset in this particular file uh, using the seek function. And I'm specifying the value of the offset as 5 and 
the value of the reference point as 0. So what will happen is the uh, cursor or the file handle will move 5 bytes ahead from the beginning of the file because the reference point is 0. Okay. Now uh, you can follow after, after writing this statement you can write the read statement or the write statement. So this particular seek function is generally used before performing any read or write. So before you place a cursor at a position then you perform the appropriate read or write function okay, or append function. But um, um, it is not really useful after performing all reading or all writing to a file. So first you place the cursor, the file offset at a position where uh, you want to perform the reading from and then you perform the read operation. Okay. Now the second uh, function that is given to us by the python interpreter is the tell function. This function will tell you the current position of the file offset and that position will be with respect to the beginning of the file. So this is this function is just to know where the current file offset is. What is the current position of the cursor in the file and once you know this you can then change the uh, current position of the file offset using the seek function or if you are okay with the position that has been told by the tell function you can perform your read or write operation okay so the syntax for doing so is you write the name of the file handle and then use the dot operator to call the tell method okay and this will return you an integer that will specify the location of the file offset in the current uh, file okay so these were the seek and tell methods for adjusting or changing the file offsets i hope you have understood both of them if you have any doubts you can mention us in the comment section below also let us know what are the subjects and what are the topics from python you would like to study in our future videos thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam